going? I'm um, Tolby, and we're going to be going over some feedback about the replay system that the devs are currently working on. I'm currently on the beta, beta version, or at least as far as I'm aware, uh, and I'd like to give some constructive feedback. Uh, first things first, we're just going to verify that I'm on UI scale small. We're going to open up a replay to uh, go ahead and show what I'm trying to show. And we're not going to do any pausing here, so that way you can see. Boom. All right, no editing. Uh, that bar up at the top is too big. This is the medium size bar. Or actually, is it? Or is it the large size bar? No, nah, it's, it's the medium size bar. Um, but uh, yeah, that bar takes up way too much space on the screen. Oh, and one of my favorite things to kind of just do, just to, you know, really kind of prove my point. All right, let's enjoy a game. <laughs> We're just going to go ahead and enjoy this game. And I hope you're enjoying everything that's going on. It looks fantastic. You got to watch everything as uh, all the way up close in hot 4K high definition. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, uh, no, that's, uh, <laughs> the user interface, at least for mobile devices, is still too big. We're gonna go ahead and switch that back to small, not auto, so that way it's a lot more bearable. Uh, thing number two, we're gonna be talking about Fog of War. Uh, the Fog of War is great. I love this disable fog and, and enable fog button. It's fantastic, because that way we're able to, you know, hide everything and show everything. But as you can kind of see here, there's another problem that's arising. Which is, on this larger map, it's really kind of harder to see everything that's going on. What I would love is for there to be a third option with this enable and disable fog button. I would love, you know, the enable fog, or, or the uh, disable the fog, enable the fog. And I would also love a shared fog. Where the shared fog, the shared fog, and give me a moment. Now, my idea of the shared fog is pretty much whatever we're doing in our competitive games, where we just take the vision of all the players, and whatever tiles are uncovered, boom, those tiles are uncovered. Now, notice this isn't perfect because this is based off the screenshots that was given to me, and this, oh man, this was taken like half a year ago. Uh, but where the entire map is showing the vision of all the players instead of. Uh, just the one or the entire map. So I'd love a shared fog vision if possible. Basically, uh, I don't know exactly how it's coded into the game about how fog tiles are revealed, but uh, if for shared fog, if a single player has vision of it, boom, uncover that fog tile. Alrighty, and then, so this one is going to be about uh, another thing, and this one is going to be about replay speed. Now, this one is pretty much perfect on this size map. This The faster speed that we're going, I think it's like times two speed or whatever. This is perfect on a larger size map such as this one. And this one is a size 400 dry land. Because we're, you know, we're, the game's able to move forward and we're able to see everything that's pretty much going on. And that's fantastic. But, uh, there's a thing that, uh, there's a problem that arises... And that problem that arises is going to be for smaller maps like this one. Because if I wanted to just kind of show the game and go, hey, this is everything that's going on. Everything that's happening in this size 121 Lakes map depends on micromanagement of units. It's not about the massive scale battles on the larger size maps. This is about, hey, those one to two units that you're using everywhere. Oh, well, first off, hold on. The user interface is... uh. Uh, back to medium again. All right, there we go. Uh, so it's it's not about larger scale battles where units that die. Okay, you know what? Just keep spending those stars. But one losing one unit and every unit's mistakes that happen, it's it's a huge deal. And you want to be watching and covering. Hey, look at how these this, these units are being handled. Like we're gonna watch that warrior slide right on in. These two riders are gonna go over and kill this other warrior right over here. Oh, uh, that's beautiful. And then especially later in this game, that's going to be happening. Uh, your eyes are glued onto this spot right over here. And if we just switch over to the auto view, uh, it's going to do an okay job to show off the entire game. But that's only going to cover if cities are captured or if uh, city levels up. Now, that doesn't do us any good because like if, if the screen is all the way over here and then they start fighting by my capital, you can't see a single one of those things that are fighting. So I'm not here to talk about the auto view. I think the auto view is okay and that's a thing that on its own needs a lot of work, but I have no solutions for that one. So we're not gonna we're not gonna worry about that one right now. The main thing is 
On smaller maps like this, the replay speed is too dang fast. Actually, the slower speed that we previously had was perfect uh, for what we were having going on. Now, notice here, like, boom, you just, you wanted to watch those exchange of units that just happened right here. As warriors are being traded, riders are advancing forward. Look at this dance of units that are going on right over here. Um, just this one's pretty marvelous. That what's end up happening is we're pretty much set up to get a giant. Uh, I did a minor misplay there, but it's okay. Bop da bop da bop, bop da bop da bop. Rider dashes forward. Everything is going fine. And then look at that. He's gonna be leveling up the city over here for some reason. Taking city walls. You don't need walls. You need stars. Press your advantage. Get the giant. The giant gets pushed out. Look at all that that's going on. And now he's gonna be getting catapults in order to cat counter this tech. And all the while. Uh, like, all, all that's happening over here, your, your eyes are glued in this spot over here. You don't have time to look away. Because if I didn't know the exact timing that, hey, this happens on turn 13, you would have missed that very minor skirmish. Like, for instance, we're actually going to go backwards just to thank to the auto view of what's going on. Okay, cool. They get the capture up there. And, by the way, that unit up there is already dead and that city is being sieged. You don't know that. You actually have no idea that that's happening right now because of how everything goes on. The game is just going too fast. You don't have time to pan around. You really are glued onto how this battle is being micromanaged. Oh, hey, this one happened. What happened up there? So basically trying to say smaller maps, the replay is too fast. On the larger maps, it's actually fine. On massive, it's still kind of too slow. I'm still going to put my foot down to say that I would prefer to have an adjustable speed to go uh it, I, I would love to have an adjustable speed from like times point like times half times one times two times four and then like times eight if we wanted to go really fast if the game would allow it um but if that's not a solution go based off of the map size because again it this is too fast <laughs> this speed is too fast for lakes for this small lakes map what I propose is whatever the height or the width is, in this case it's 11, or you know square root of 121 is 11, uh, divide it by 10, so you'd have 1.1. Uh, have the replay speed be uh, a little bit faster based off of that, because times 1.1 should pretty much be perfect for a map size like this, because it needs to be slower for a map like this, but notice it was perfect on that size 400 map previously. A couple of other things that I want to be bringing up, uh, what the, f was, ah, man, did I already bring it up, uh, is, uh, oh yeah, uh, research is, that's happening all the time, level ups, I would love to have the option, because I've actually considered going, hey, I'm gonna cr create a game where I start off as Polaris, and then invite two other players, and then I just do nothing as Polaris because it doesn't affect the terrain generation or anything like that. And then just select myself as Polaris so that way I don't get all of these pop-ups. Because the pop-ups of, oh, the city leveled up. What do you want? Do you want stars? Uh, it's jarring. Now, if we're on autofocus, go for it. Because we know exactly what city's leveling up. But if I'm focusing on everything that's going on over here, like, oh boy, look at this explorer. Look at all this stuff that's going on up over here. And what the heck? Uh, okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, that's popping up and getting in the way. I want those pop-ups to not be showing if I'm not doing the autofocus. If the autofocus isn't happening, don't show those pop-ups. Same thing when technologies are researched is the res the researches gets in the way. Cause right over here, notice I'm on the smallest user interface, but that's still covering up most of the screen. And the game doesn't do a brief autopause when a new technology is researched. Which means if we research two technologies, the entire middle half of the entire screen is being completely covered up. And you're not watching anything, but the game is still playing in the background. And especially with the faster speed, you're going to be missing some stuff. So that should be here to cover it, which is we need to have a little pause on everything that's happening over here. Uh, if we're not focusing on stuff, don't. Don't, uh, don't have the pop-ups. Maybe just uh, put them off to the side? I don't know. But it's getting in the way of the replay, or if you're dead fo centered focus on going, hey, if they're researching something, still do the pop-up. Okay, well, 
have the game pause just a little bit just for that. So we covered replay speed, we covered pop-ups, we covered the fog of war of it'd be great to have a shared view. Um, I would also, so the one for potentially uh, a second possible solution for the pop-ups is if we're on auto, allow me to just tap, maybe like tap and hold it. To, then it goes to auto slash none, where none of the pop-ups are going to... Ah, oh, dang it. Really? <laughs> um, alrighty. So that, that should pretty much cover it because everything here is fantastic. I love the part where when actually it's going to be better on a different. So we loaded up this one yet again. Once more, we're going to have to switch to advanced settings, user interface. We're going to go back to medium and then back to small. There we go. And we're going to focus on Tolby, because Tolby ends up not doing too, too much this game. That's me. Yay. Um, but my team had a very good game. And look at that. The best thing that's happening is we're skipping a lot of things that are happening in the background. Uh, I, I really, really appreciate it to where the game can go by faster and focus on what's important in this case. Because if the player is going, uh -uh, I only want to focus on Tolby, skip everything that we can't see. So keep doing that. That's, uh, so like if, if the starting square, the ending square of whatever action is taking place is not visible on the fog, just skip the action. Just keep moving forward. Or uh, skip the animation. We don't, well, we don't need to be seeing all this because look at this. Right now, there's nothing happening. So, boom! Three technologies. Can't see anything that's happening. Oh, I guess the capital's leveling up. I think that pretty much covers it. I'm trying to keep this short and sweet. So that way, uh, instead of me rambling on, it gets everything pretty much to the point. So we have fog. We have replay speed. We have shared fog. Uh, yeah, I think that just about covers it. So, thanks for... Uh, all of th thanks for your active programming on the game. Thanks for giving us this replay feature. I hope to see the improvements one way or another. Uh, and we'll see you all on the next one.